Hi, so this is part two of the video collection and uh, we're going to be looking at the Sonoff TH10 and the TH16. 10 being 10 amps, 16 respectively 16 amp. So, fantastic device, bags of functionality with these. So, typical Sonoff Wi-Fi switch but with the added thermocouple input. I've seen people videos and they're pointing at these holes and they're not unsure, unsure why but there we go it's the thermocouple input so we've got the thermocouple here but this one's not only a thermocouple it's measuring humidity so that's one of the devices we can use we can also use this one this is uh, just a pure thermocouple uh, we can use this potentially outside uh, or into a into a fluid which is fantastic so uh again wi-fi driven switch we can use alexa we can use google and we can use ifttt so i'll pause the video and we can get one wired up with these terminals it's uh, slightly different from the probably one of the last uh, devices we looked at from sonoff but uh Superb. We've now got we've now got uh, we've got earths on these ones, so we've got our output pair of earths, input live two forty volts, neutral zero potential over here. So yeah, a little bit better at, but yeah, good, all good. So I'll pause this. We'll wire one up and we'll show some functionality. Here we go. So. I've actually got the, the TH10 wired up now and uh, TH10 being 10 amp current rating on this one. Uh, I've got my 240 volts in, just a temporary line coming in. Uh, probably not the best connection there, but it's, it's only a, a quick test to show you the functionality of these devices. And then my output going out, I've actually got it going to a lamp. So uh, I can't show you a heater switching on, but uh, I've, I've called it heater. And just to show the functionality, we've got the lamp connected up. So, Alexa, Alexa turn on the heater. Okay. Oh, there you go. She's a little slow. She's next door, so uh, not particularly quick or she can't hear me. Alexa, turn off the heater. There you go. So that works. And uh, so we can use it like that. But the beauty of this, we can actually set us, we can set up uh, some temperature settings. So we could actually use this as a, a thermostat and a heating system. Uh, and what I'll show you later is you don't even need to hardwire this in. We could potentially have this wired up, powered up with a thermocouple or a thermocouple and humidity sensor and then we could control via a scene another Sonoff device so we could uh, we could, for example say at 20 degrees turn on the heater uh, and then we could we could fire using a scene one of the other Sonoff devices so we've uh, now we're set up so I've got it connected and we've set it up. What I've done, I've told this uh, device, so at 25 degrees, switch off. So we've got, got no heat at the moment. We're not using heat, we're using a lamp just uh, for demonstration purposes. So at 25, switch off. But when it reduces below 20, so I've got my cold water here. So when it goes back down again, then it'll demand heat. I don't know how hot my hot water was, but it's, uh, I'm assuming it's dropping back down now. There you go. So drop below 20 and uh, demanded heat. And it's a simple setting. We can look at some of the settings later. Simple setting uh, for this particular example, below 20, turn on the heat. And then at 25, fingers crossed my water's still warmer. 
so up to 25 switch off the heat so this is superb this is uh, this device here we can control this remotely anywhere in the world with our cell phone or, or tablet and basically we've got a pretty smart thermo, thermostat control system uh, for 12 13 euros 12 13 dollars and uh, compared to the 200 you can pay for similar devices yeah okay we haven't got geofencing but uh, it's still pretty good for the price so I'm now going to uh, pause the video again and we'll show you I'm going to set up a scene so basically we can remove this wire uh, the output and we can do this remotely so my scene my scene will say at 20 degrees switch on another heater for example and uh, again for this example I'll, I'll use this lamp in the corner so we can we can call this uh, we can call this well we can just we can watch it it'll come on so just bear with me we'll pause the video and uh, we'll set it up and I'll show you this example so here we go I've completely removed the output of this device so we still have the 240 volts in this is driving the device and we've got a thermocouple and I've got this going to the the warm water the, the orange being warm water and cold water respectively so what I'm doing we've created a scene now and uh, I'm using my tablet to show you this so currently we're reading 72 degrees uh, sorry 70 degrees on the hot water so via the via the device and what we can do is go back and we go to a scene and this scene basically says scene part one it's called heater and when it drops below it's equal or below 25 lamp on I've called it lamp because this is just to, just to show you guys you know we're using a lamp instead of a heat device uh, heat or air conditioning for example and then scene part two again here great scene and I've said when it's uh, equal or greater 27 turn off and uh, that should be good so we're going to go back go back go back to heater wherever heater is I'll just show you that I'm currently running bathroom and I'm also running some of the bedrooms at my other property completely different heat sources it's, uh, using these devices uh, again sewn off Wi-Fi driven and I can control bedrooms and, and bathrooms completely independent so we can run the bathroom in the summertime just to wear the towels for example we don't need to have the, the full heating on so go back to our heating and that's that one there we're currently running 68 degrees in the hot water with no heat lamps not on because that's our heater for today and we're going to take it out of the hot water and we're going to drop it into the cold so dropped it into the cold we'll start to see it drop there you go it's going to go rapid down once it starts to uh, soak uh, that's temperature soak rather than water soak so uh, it's soaking now and we're dropping there you go and remember our scene basically said when you're equal or less than 25 turn on the heat and there you go so completely independent uh, using the scene you can control two devices and what I will do in one of my videos in the next month or so, I'm going to have one here set up with a thermocouple device in one room. And we're going to have a device like this uh, with a simple relay. And that will control the central heating boiler. So something to look out for. So there we go. 18 degrees in the water. So... We'll just pretend now the room's warming up as it warms up back into the warm liquid as the heater switches on temperature rises up greater than 27 heat goes off fantastic device and i think only 12 12 pounds 13 pounds uh, we've got a link at the bottom of this video and i say please subscribe 
uh, to these videos and uh, we can give send you a link so we can get 10% uh, off all these products. Uh, thank you very much for watching.